hi this is a square and in this program we will calculate the area of this square so basically we will create a java file and in the java file uh, we will actually build our logic which can calculate the area at the beginning we will start uh, by hard coded value suppose the side of this area is 5 for area all sides are equal right so the area of that uh, square will be like 5 times 5 right so this will be the area but uh, this program is fixed but uh, this program will not work well for all the time we want a system or a program which can actually ask user to put some value for each side i mean on side and then based on that side uh, the user put the value it will calculate the area of that uh, square so let's get started this is my eclipse editor i'm going to use eclipse so let's create a project first i'm clicking file and the new and java project and i am typing the name of the project for example the name of the project is like square area this is the name of the uh, project and then just click on finish i am choosing uh, that version of jar you can also change the jar uh, let's click it don't create and then uh, the empty project will be created with empty source file okay so uh, to calculate the area at first we need to create a java file we can do that by right clicking and then new then uh, class so this will create a java class for our program and suppose the name of the uh, class is like area okay and then uh, we have to click this thing public strict void main uh, because the program will run from this main method and then after that we have to click on finish to create the uh, area file area java file and then we can delete uh, this comment okay so we just discussed that at first we will uh, calculate the area based on some hard coded value suppose uh, the side of a area uh, of a square is like 5 okay so we can define a variable like integer uh, or instead of integer we can put double double uh, i want to use the double data type and then the area side of the area like on side is area side equal to like 5 okay so this is the value uh, of each side uh, then to calculate the area what we can do uh, we can uh, calculate the area uh, by using the equ uh, equation like 5 square so we can do uh, 5.0 times 5.0 okay and then we can actually assign uh, this thing inside a variable suppose the variable name is uh, a variable name is like uh, a area equal this okay and then this this is the data type of this one is double okay double area this one and at last we have to put a semicolon and then we can finally uh, print this i mean the output by using the command sys out and then hold control key space bar all together and it will complete system dot out dot print line and here we can actually uh, print the area okay so now uh, this is the thing this is hard coded okay, let's run it and check whether it is working properly or not okay i'm going to save and then uh, if we increase the size we see it is calculating the value 25 okay so now this is hard coded right so what we are planning to do uh, we actually uh, will ask the user to uh, put the put some value for the site okay so for that case we can use one scanner object so we can define scanner then like the scanner scan it will scan and then we can create the constructor by using new scanner and here we can put the parameter okay so i'll put the parameter later so before that uh, we see there are a couple of errors so let's fix this thing if we click here and then uh, if we put our cursor like few seconds it will give us this suggestion so it is asking to import uh, scanner java.util okay so just click here and then the import statement will be added and if you scroll up we'll see that it is added that import statement okay now here is another thing uh, if you put our cursor over here it will show us the error uh, the constructor scanner is undefined we, we didn't define so we have to put the parameter uh, it means from where it will collect the value so it will collect the value from this console so we can put system dot in so it will capture the input from here okay so like this and then finally what we have to do we have to uh, capture the value 
from this console hardware whenever the user will type something so we can uh, use this thing and uh, this is scan object is scan and then we can uh, put a dot and then it will uh, show us all the things which we can actually use okay uh, this are the methods so our target was uh, to capture the value from the user so we can use uh, the function next there uh, if you hold control key and scroll together then it will suggest all the next related things and here you will find on uh, method is next double we want to use this so I double click over there and it will complete this thing okay so it will ask the user uh, to input some number okay and after uh, writing the when user actually writes some number then it will scan that thing okay we can put a semicolon to you know, the error okay and when the user put uh, type something we can store it in a variable right suppose the variable name is like side okay side equal to this thing and this is a uh, double data type so you can use double double side this thing okay and by this line actually we are capturing uh, the input from the user okay so before uh, uh, writing this line we can actually prompt user uh, some message uh, by which user can understand what he needs to type or something right so we can use sys out and then control space all together and it will finish system total print line and here we can write a important meaningful message for the user uh, which he'll understand what he or she needs to do so enter the side of the square okay so it will ask uh, to put the side of the square okay uh, we can use only print here because we can keep on the same line okay so here user will type the value of the side and based on that uh, user will actually type something and it will scan that input and it will store inside this side variable okay now let's come to the next line so here we don't need we can remove this thing because we already captured this thing uh, right now we are not hard coded anymore uh, the program becomes dynamic like this okay now we have to calculate the area so calculate the area actually uh, this is not valid anymore because this is hard coded we are removing this thing and we'll use this side to calculate the square so we can use side times side okay so here is the calculation side times side and it will calculate the area and it will restore here okay and then finally we can print the output the area of this square so we can form it a little bit with meaningful message like area of the square is okay uh, that's all okay so it will get the, the area okay uh, you can save it and then we can format it command shift f and it will format the whole code okay we are seeing that it format the whole code and then uh, it's very simple so what we did we are asking we are giving a user a message enter the square uh, side of the square and then user is uh, typing the square and we are storing that thing inside this variable and finally we are calculating our logic and finally we are printing uh, that thing okay we can refactor this code but i am not going to do this thing in this uh, program because it's very simple okay and it asks on the online of input and online you know, processing of the calculation and online only showing the output that's why i didn't refactor the code okay so now uh, lots of talking uh, now let's run the program and check whether it is really able to uh, do the calculation for calculating the area or not so run this then it will ask to save i'm clicking okay it will save and then it will run so here it is in the console it is asking enter the site of the square suppose uh, the enter the side of the square so suppose the side is 10.1 for example just and then hit enter and it will show you the area of the square is uh, this thing okay so it is working properly so that's all guys in this way we can easily uh, create a java program to calculate area of a square and i showed you both ways hard coded method and also dynamic way to create the uh, application to which can calculate the area of a square so hopefully this video will be helpful for you if you feel this video is useful please consider subscribing in our channel and please hit the like button thank you for watching the video